Okay, here we go. I'm sure a lot of you will remember this place that I mentioned that I can only get in once I have the thingy. And now I have the thingy, so I can go in the warp. And be warned, because the thing that you're about to see might just be the most awesome thing ever. Holy crap, I love this thing. I have no idea how this can be made in Zelda Classic. That warp animation is like the most insane thing I've ever seen. Anyway, this is a really neat sub-level of sorts. I actually feel kind of bad doing it now because it's one of the best parts of the game. I feel like I should save it for later. But if I don't do it now, then it will be pretty useless because the item you get at the end will be obsolete. Anyway, sorry if my voice is a little off. <laughs> I'm actually pretty sick. I'm only really recording this because if I don't, then people will start bitching. Anyway, here we've got Metal Man music. Pretty nice song. And, okay, main goal in this area is that switch over there will remove that pipe blocking the ladder. You need to go down there. I think this music is a bit loud. I hope, I hope you can actually hear me over it. Not that I'm saying anything interesting. Anyway, here we've got lots of side-scrolling action, lots of weird enemies. There's an energy tank up there. I've already full, so I won't bother to get it, I guess. And now we've got the first instance of the druge, druge blocks. Except without the noise, of course. Oh, my God. Those things are also probably quite a pain to implement. I don't know why I'm heading this way. That's just because I want to show off the area. So I go left, energy tanks over there I'm not going to get. I think you can fall off this cliff. Yep. Okay, so let's try and get past these time blocks without cheating. Because there is a way to cheat it. Gotta figure out the timing. Oh, I can just run across these. Then these ones. Let's see, two side, two middle. Let's go. Okay, just barely made it. There'll be a lot more where that came, where those came from. Here we've got funky little fan things that I think are pretty awesome. And more disappearing blocks. And there's nothing down there except for the pit that they drop you into. So let's try. And, ah, crap. Ah, I thought they were all dead. Okay, let's try this again. I think I might have just cheated there. You see, the way that this works is that... Ah! With Zelda Classic, it... There's no sense of gravity or anything. So what's actually happening here is there's combo cycling. The blocks themselves, and then the tiles right above the blocks. The ones above the blocks will switch from being normally walkable to being staircases that bump you down to the screen below if you step on them. But the thing is, staircases usually won't activate unless you move across them. So if you're, if like one appears as you're standing there and you don't move, you can usually float. But since there's something shooting at me here, it's a bit more annoying because that bumps you into the stairs. Okay, there we go. Ugh, frickin' Norton. Why do I even have Norton? Okay, hold on, I'm gonna pause the recording. Okay, I can't tell if it actually closed or not. Anyway, yeah, there's a secret here. Go through the wall, and there's a heart piece, which brings me up to eight hearts, and a Cutman statue. I like Cutman. For some reason. I think he's, like, the first boss that I ever beat in the Mega Man game. At least the most memorable one. The first game, the first Mega Man that I ever played was uh, Wily Wars on the Sega channel. And I never really played any others after that until around, I want to say like 2003-ish, I finally downloaded all the NES ones, and then I got an anniversary collection for GameCube and played them all again. Okay. 
Okay, just delaying the inevitable here because I don't want to go across the block bridge. Okay, that one wasn't so bad. I guess a lot of them aren't so bad, you just gotta be lucky. Not gonna bother killing it. Down here I think is just some money, but it doesn't hurt to have that, especially since I'm using missiles so much. It's a lot safer than going in with the lightsaber anyway. Ooh, I like this one, because you gotta, like, use the ladder to dodge the shots. I don't know, pretty basic stuff, really, but I thought it was neat. Can I get this ferry? No, I can't grab it with the boomerang. Come on, get down here. And then... Uh, okay. I guess I didn't really need it. I thought it might fill magic, too. Okay, I'm heading down... And we are done with the first half of this, and unfortunately I think I'm going to have to cut this short because to make this flow better, I don't want to have like 10 minutes of stuff and then 3 minutes of stuff and then just have to wander around aimlessly because I don't want to start level 3 yet. So yeah, I'll be finishing up this in the next segment. See you then. Okay, second half. Pretty much the same as the first half. You've got this place with the Boomer Quanger music. And then you've got the place with the Metal Man music, except this time it's harder. Well, this place is still pretty easy. I mean, there's nothing really you have to do. Just follow the path, ignore the enemies. Ah. Or get hit by the enemies, that works too. I like this song. I'm not sh I, I should probably listen to some of the music from the other Mega Man X games, because I ne never really played those. But the first one had some good songs. Okay, so now we've got more of this. Again, gotta hit the button to make the pipe move. I always like those enemies, because you can actually see the blade as it flies up, like, the blade leaves it as it flies off. I guess that's just normal with the new enemy set, but uh, I've never really used that, so I don't know. It's it's new to me. Got another of these, and we've got wall, and we've got ceiling crushers, which you definitely don't want to get stuck in because when you do, once again, this is combo cycling, and if that thing comes down on you, on, down on you, you'll be surrounded by damage tiles and will most likely die in one hit, unless you manage to escape very quickly. Which, I don't I don't see how that could really happen, to be honest. Okay, let's blow up this thingy. Let's see what's over here. More, oh jeez. Blocks over spikes. Not fun. And we've got these things, which are a major pain. You can kill them because it's actually Stalfos 3 enemies. Alright, let's try this. No! Okay, that's that's pretty evil. <coughs> but yeah, uh, Stalfos 3 enemies. They shoot, and they're not in the original game. And I've never actually seen them outside of this quest. But they shoot the uh, sword weapon which in this game is a laser. They shoot it in all four directions at once. And so here he just has them placed in those spots. Kind of like stationary. Gotta do all this junk again. If I die again at the spikes, I'll pause the recording until I get past. I mean, until I get back there. Hopefully that will not happen. Okay, so... Now that one's already dead. Now let's see how this pattern goes. Just 
two, one, middle. Seems to me like you don't have very long to get across. Okay, and just two here. And, oh god. Disable this thing. Okay, just one more to go. And I'm very nervous about it. It looks like you've got plenty of time. And the two form to the left, you can make it over. Okay. And it led to a hard pace, so I figured it did. <clears throat> now I gotta go through this junk again, but I think all the enemies are dead, so it's not so bad.